told my boss that I'm going to make it. Yeah. And here I am. <laughs> Nothing is happening. Yeah. You know. But I knew that I, I cannot afford to laugh about it. How can I cannot laugh about a business that is not doing well. Yeah. If I'm saying let's do it now, mm. I'm not talking about tomorrow. Time is given now. Let's do it now. We finish yeah. now. Tomorrow we don't know. What if you don't wake up? for tuning in again my name is Nobody Tambani from Top Trader South Africa and we're bringing you guys another episode of Market Masters you guys know I'm sitting down with all the talented individuals in this industry who are doing the most currently right now and right now I am sitting down with MJ from Traders Connect how are you doing I'm fine yourself I am doing good well. I am good uh, we're in Pretoria right now Repitori on your side of town sure. like you said a different country <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yeah, sure. so we're here to uh, obviously discuss your, your trading journey, uh, everything that you've been doing so far. I know we've had like a little conversation, but like um, I'm really I'm really like excited to like get into it properly. Your story, where you started, where sure. you, how you got into Forex, uh, how you got these of office here in Pretoria, another office in Waterfall. Yeah. So uh, it's really great. So like, um, let's start with you, like. Uh, what what were you doing before forex though like before you got into forex yeah so um i've i've, I've, I've got a bit of um banking background okay. i worked in the bank yeah before mm -hmm. uh, most people they know this story yeah. but i think it would be fair to just maybe for those who don't know yeah yeah so i worked uh, as a multi-skill consultant for one of the biggest bank in the land in mm. south africa and um, as a multi-skilled consultant, you get to work in every sector, you know, frontline, back office, telling, business banking, you know, all that. So that's where the journey started. Then uh, that's where I was introduced to financial markets. Okay. Yeah. So when I was done with my degree, I decided to go into um, banking. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's where the journey actually started. So yeah. what degree did you, what did you study? So I've got a bachelor's in business administration. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So, but like, how did you actually get introduced to like, because obviously you're already in the banking system, yeah. but like I, I understand that um, getting introduced to trading is quite different from just being part of working as a, at a bank. But yeah. like, obviously there came a point where you were properly introduced to the markets. Like, yeah. When, yeah. when did that happen? So I think, um, I, you know, um, I think I was tired of watching people come in and making investment for them and okay. for their future plans and for the generational wealth and all that. Yeah. And I, I actually started realizing that within the banking sector, there are people that are traders. Yeah. And they're well being taken care of mm. more than even the, 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 the managers and all that. Mm. You know, so I, I was fascinated by a point that many people come and they exchange, okay. you know, their currencies mm. for, for another. And I was just looking at the way the bank was also making commission out of that. Yeah. So it, it, I got an interest into that. And um, I, I then went to um, some few people to ask them about how do I actually make money out of this without having to, you know, get somebody to physically come and, you know, yeah. exchange. And, um, I had a teacher from high school that was also clued up with this and it's like, no, um, there is what we call Forex. You can actually do it on your own mm. and start making money, you know. Yeah. So that's how I started now doing my research. You know, I was like, no, um, my days are numbered here. Yeah. I'm actually <laughs> going to do this in my room. Yeah. You know, whatever yeah. they're doing here, I'm actually going to just copy and paste in my room. And okay. yeah, that's how it started. And yeah, yeah I, I started, you know, making research and... Yeah, so what, what actually went into that research? Like, what were you researching? What did you come across while yeah. you were busy researching? Yeah, so obviously, like most traders, you get to a point where you, you know, you get to social media and you start realizing that, well, this thing works. Mm. Uh, I think I can buy a fast car within <laughs> months. I can have a better life within months. So let me just resign and be like these people. 
um, that I'm seeing in the you know in, in the social space. Yes. You know, so I I got to a point where obviously learning, mm -hmm. self-taught, mm -hmm. you know, and started realizing that I can actually do this. Let me just put in some money and yeah, um, mm -hmm. obviously when you start in the beginning, you're all excited. Yeah, yeah, of course. And the market will obviously in a way humble you. <laughs> I was humbled, obviously, sure. But the thing is, I once heard somebody that uh, say that the worst thing that can happen to a, a trader that's starting out is for, the, for them to make profit. Sure. When trading out, so I guess when when the humble markets you when you're starting out, I guess it's always a good thing. Yeah. But like I've heard that somebody say that now, when, if you make profits, the moment you get in there, it will like just mess up with your psychology. Oh. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Um, I always believe that input determines output. Okay. What you put in determines what you take out. Yeah. Hence, even when you listen to music without even you know just for a day listen to one song when you wake up in the morning it will be playing at the back of your head mm. so obviously when you start in you're looking at those profits and you start thinking that damn i'm in the right space here yeah. I'm, I'm the next millionaire mm -hmm. um I'm, I'm gone mama i made it like they normally <laughs> say you know so once you get in you start seeing the money mm -hmm. and then you come to the realization that this is not as easy as i thought it was once you start losing money, then you start thinking that um, maybe, maybe it's just a phase. Mm. Maybe it's just a phase. It's business, so mm. it's just a phase, mm. you know. Then later you start realizing that it was not a phase. There's something <laughs> wrong here. Yeah. Uh, there's something wrong here yeah. because I think if this industry was as easy as we think it is, everyone could be rich by now. Yeah, that is so true. Yeah, so, so true. we are in a, one of the most difficult industries ever. Yeah. And I know some people hate it when I say that the market is manipulated. Okay. And believe you me, every market is manipulated. Yeah, that is yeah? true. Yeah. Whether financial markets, pharmaceuticals, yeah. every market is manipulated. Yeah. You saw during COVID, yeah. sanitizer <laughs> all of a sudden, prices are going up. That's yeah. manipulation. Price yeah. is manipulated. So the minute now you start seeing that, look, it's not as easy as I thought. Mm -hmm. Then you start going back to the drawing board and say, okay, what can I do now do yeah. to become you know, better at this? Yeah. yeah. Hi, my name is Damien Bunce and I'm the Chief Trading Officer at XNES. I want to talk to you about some of the advancements we've made in our product and our services that have propelled us to the number one position as a broker in terms of volume and active traders. We strive to create the optimal marketplace for our clients and that means deep and rich liquidity. It means low and stable spreads at any time of the day or night. It also means minimizing slippage at all possible moments in time. By the end of 2022, we plan to double our investment in our infrastructure, our people, and our product line in order to keep us exceptionally competitive and continue to add fantastic advancements for our clients. Reaching the number one position was just the first step for us there is plenty more to come. You speak about uh, this being the most difficult, one of the most difficult industries uh, in the world right now. So why do you think that so many people uh, are not being successful in, within this industry? Because they're getting it wrong. They think the problem is with the market and the problem is not with the market. The problem is with themselves. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So people are not suffering. There are a lot of intelligent people out there, I can tell you that, yeah. even in, in, in South Africa. Smart people. Mm. But they're thinking that maybe there's, there's something happening within the market and maybe they just need to figure out what is the secret. And the secret yeah. is out there. It's easy. Okay. Remember that when you are a trader, you don't have a boss. Yeah. You are your own boss. You are yeah. looking at your laptop, your PC, and you're like, okay, I'm my own boss. So you have to deal with the, you know, having to fight with yourself because mm -hmm. you have to now pose some, you know, rules. And obviously, some way, somehow, people tend to break rules. If we break rules that are being posed to us by the government and our parents and people in the community and all that, we always break rules. What more the rules that you set for yourself? It's mm -hmm. easy to break them. Mm -hmm. So people are trading the Johannesburg Stock Exchange. They are, they are having strategies that are losing 80% of the time, but they are still profitable. Why? They've got the secret of monitoring how they trade. They know that if I take one trade, it has to give me at least this much of a reward mm. than of, you know, how much they can lose. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not really about every business, I believe, 
it's all about discipline. Okay. If you're selling tomatoes on the streets, somebody can do better than you. And it doesn't mean that the one who's doing better has better tomatoes. It just yeah. simply means that this one has better information than the, the other one. Maybe you are selling tomatoes and every time you make money, you eat it, you spend it. And the other one, every time they sell tomatoes, they take their net profits and they reinvest mm. into other things, you know. So I think that's, 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 that's why many people think it is difficult, but the problem is individuals. Yeah, so yeah true. many people have a problem with themselves, I'm, I'm telling you, and they start thinking maybe it's juju, black magic, somebody's bewitching me from the villages, <laughs> why all of a sudden I'm yeah. not doing well, yeah. you know. Um, so it, it, it starts with you, you know, discipline. Mm. Yeah, it just starts with you. Everything, I believe that everything in life is just all about discipline you know yeah uh, in south africa we call them robots but in other countries we call them uh, traffic lights yeah H have you realized that you don't need people actually stop when the when the robot is ready okay without being stopped by anything physically for them okay it's it's it's, it's just a light that tells them you need to stop mm. and they just have it at the back of their head once the the traffic light says it shows me that it's red. Mm. I have to stop. Mm. But it's not like there's a gate that will come and stop you. It's up to you. If you want to pass, you can pass. But what are the consequences of passing? Mm. Mm. Something can happen. Yeah, so true. Yeah, so it's, it's all about what the, the rules that you set for yourself. I'm setting these rules. I'm going to abide by these rules. I'm going to honor. Because if you cannot honor your own rules, then you don't honor yourself. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, so you, le so okay, so now you, you're getting into trading. Did you leave work, resign to go full time trading, or what was that process Definitely. like? Definitely. Um, I, I, I always wanted to go to work with shots. Okay. <laughs> Definitely the day I resigned, I went there with my shots. <laughs> and I had their uniform. Okay. I had their name tag. Yeah. I was ready. I had my resignation letter, mm. and I just gave it to them. So I said, I'm out. Yeah. And believe you me, I thought it was going to be easy <laughs> because yeah. I'm seeing I'm seeing people are trading. I mean, yeah. People are buying cars. People yeah. are buying houses. So it's going to definitely be easy yeah. because you know what what actually messed me up. Okay. The output people were showing, oh, yeah. but no one is willing to show their input. Mm. So true. Yeah. So, so true. I was seeing fleshy things, mm -hmm. but I did not realize that behind fleshy things there's an input. People are not sleeping at night, mm. putting that input, mm. you understand? So I thought it was going to be easy, and it was not. Yeah. It humbled me. So what was one of the most difficult moments right there, like after you've resigned at work? Like what were the challenges that you were literally faced with? Like, You know when you're used to salary? Yeah. That on a particular day, you know money's coming in. Mm. Now I was faced with the challenge of now I have to make my at least my salary. I have to make it at least mm. every month. I have to make sure that I have that salary, mm. and I have to make it through what the charts. Yeah, and it was not happening. Sure, it was not happening. It was not happening. We all have pressure: family members, mm. friends. What were you doing? <laughs> you know. <laughs> You had the best life ever. You had the best profession ever. Mm. Because to them it was. But inside I knew that I wanted something better. Yeah. You know. So to make that money every month it was difficult. Okay. It was, it was difficult. I don't want to lie. I, I struggled a lot. So I had to now think of other things. Like I did a lot. I tried everything. My good mm. sir. I don't want to lie. Like I've, I've literally sold Archer. Yeah. And, you know, I'm not just saying this to inspire somebody out there. Because, yeah. you know, some people are inspired by many things. Yeah, so, you know? yeah. so I'm just talking about my journey. Yeah. You know? I sold Archer. It didn't work out. Then I started thinking that, look, I've got furniture. Why can't I customize my furniture? Okay. And, you know, there's a smeg fridge, you know, mm. the, this fridge, um, mm. smeg. Yeah. And I was like, if I take my silver fridge and spray it, and make it look red and, you know, metallic. <laughs> and I can go on OLX yeah. and sell this thing, okay. you know, so that I could at least try to fund, yeah. you know, with, with better, you know, have better capital to yeah. trade. It didn't work out. Started selling pumps, ladies' shoes. Yeah. Didn't work out. 
you know, I was just trying everything, yeah. you know, and it, it never worked out. And this is post after you've left your job now. Yeah, now, sure. and in the back of my head, I'm like, yo, I told my boss that I'm going to make it. Yeah. And here I am. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is happening, yeah. you know. So I, like, I literally tried everything. Mm. Then I went back to to look at the books that I had from Varsity, started selling them. And I knew that I'm selling books now just to, you know, have something to put on my trading account, have yeah. more money. Yeah. And every money that I made out of this small you know, hustling things okay. I was doing, put in that trading account, obviously, you know, the outcome they didn't work out. Yeah. Excuse me. So it was a difficult journey. Mm. I don't want to lie. Mm. It was a difficult journey for me. I tried everything. But um, at the end of the day, I started now thinking that, look, let me just try this one more time and maybe it can work out. And I was like, let me not pressurize myself. Yeah. If I was making this ex uh, uh, um, uh, of an amount from my salary, let me at least try to make half of it. Okay, yeah. And let me limit my expenses. Okay. So if I'm used to this lifestyle, let me cut it off because clearly things are not working out. So let me just at least make half of what I was getting from the bank. Mm. And yeah, I tried that. And now that's when I started seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay. To say, okay, now I'm not pressurizing myself, mm. you know. Because sometimes pressure makes you makes decisions on your behalf and you're not even aware. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I started doing that. Then I started becoming consistent here and there. Mm. And yeah. Um, it worked out at the end of the yeah, day. Yeah, eventually. Yeah, you know, no, it here worked now. out. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm here. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I think, you know, just to add on that, I had ideas to get money from my family. Okay. And that's the worst thing you can ever do. Mm. It worked out for other people, but yeah. I know my family. <laughs> if you owe them, <laughs> you wouldn't want to go to a funeral. You don't. You wouldn't want to go to a wedding. You know. So I, I also had that idea. Not yeah. at all. Yeah. yeah. So okay. So during this time, obviously you're getting money uh, to fund accounts. You're losing it. You're getting mm. money to fund accounts, losing it. So obviously now going back to like the charts right now, you're trading, do you think mm -hmm. that you had a proper strategy? Do you think that you, what were you doing wrong on the charts now? What, did it have anything to do with the charts? So? Okay, so by the way, yeah. um, you know, I was not really blowing those accounts. Okay. I was just not making money. Okay. You're putting 5,000, it's month end, it's 5,500. <laughs> you understand? So yeah. it's not like it was, it's, 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 it, I was not consistent. I was not making money, okay. you know? So I started realizing that maybe I had a problem with myself, the winning mentality. Mm -hmm. I, I, I grew up wanting to win all the time. Mm. So even when I'm losing $5, I would freak out. I'm like, why, why am I losing $5? Yeah. You know, no, it must go back. You know, it must go back and all that. So I started now realizing that, look, I, I don't think the problem is with trading. Mm -hmm. The problem is me. Mm. I'm having a lot of things in my head, yeah. at the back of my head. I'm just thinking of rent, I'm thinking of this, I'm thinking of that, you know. So I started now saying, look, let me rather close the charts mm -hmm. and do research yeah. about discipline as an individual. And I, I, I knew that if I can discipline myself within this business, mm -hmm. I can get an edge. Yeah. So now I changed from now looking for strategies. We've all been there. Go to YouTube, look for 95% winning <laughs> strategy. We've all been there and you know yeah, the outcome. Yeah. I don't even want to know that. <laughs> so I was like, maybe I have a good strategy, mm. but I have a bad mentality. Mm. So I started working on my mentality. Okay. I started taking this as a game, not as a profession. Mm. Because I believe it's a game. Okay. I started looking at sports people mm -hmm. and I started realizing how they channel themselves. If you look at Cristiano Ronaldo, the guy is a beast mm. and the guy believes in himself, mm. but the guy knows how to take a loss. Mm. Okay. So I was now looking at that to say, clearly, I have to know how to you know, wake up in the morning mm -hmm. and do something, mm. even besides trading because mm. you know sometimes you get into trading and you're just opening your laptop and like i'm looking for setups then you're a peep hunter yeah you're just hunting for peeps yeah hunting to make money so those are the habits i used to have bad habits mm. you know bad habits did not realize that the market opens this time it closes this time i did not know that 
So I was just coming in. If I wake up in the morning, I have to make money, <laughs> you know. Yeah. If, if I'm in a mall, just open the laptop and, you know. Yeah. So I started working on bad habits. Okay. And that's when now I started realizing that, okay, so the problem was not really with the strategy. Mm. The problem was with myself. Certain people also need to be careful of what you hear because mm. it determines what you're going to say. Yeah, so true. I started now avoiding people that are negative within this industry. Oh man, trading is a scam. These things for certain people. Because mm. th these things are ringing. Once you're seeing your, your account now is about to be blown, and like, but they said it. <laughs> you know, this thing is, is, is really not for me. So I started avoiding that. Mm. Avoiding people that are negative towards this industry. Started now not listening to anybody. I started listening to myself. Started professing positive things. This thing is going to work out. I'll make it, I'll make it work out. Mm. I have to, I did not leave my job for nothing. Yeah. This has to work out. And I told myself, there's no plan B. Ah, there's no plan B. I told myself, <laughs> no plan B. You have to yeah. do this and it has to work out. So yeah. every time I'm experiencing some drawdowns, I was reminded that, remember what you said. Mm. No plan B. So mm. there's nothing else I can do. Mm. This is my only option to make it. Mm. And yeah, um, Strategy, I don't think is the problem. Yeah. I don't think, what do you think? Strategy, I don't think is the problem. Nah, strategy, honestly, strategy is, is the least, like, of people's, should be the least of people's concerns when it actually comes to trading, though. Sure. Which sure. is so true, because obviously, there's so much other things that go into trading, and like, you've mentioned quite a few of them already, yeah. you know, if people are listening, if you guys are listening. Yeah, yeah, sure. That. So, like, I, I, you know, I, I'm loving your story, how the development of everything is, is happening at this point, you know, so um, how did you find your way as a trader, you know, because obviously, because I really believe that, um, I, I don't, I think I want to use the word identity, but like, uh, how did you find your way as a trader, like coming as yourself, becoming yourself as a trader, if I can put it like that? I did not only see myself as a trader, I saw myself as an entrepreneur. Okay. You know, I just saw myself as a business guy. Yeah. And I started taking this serious mm -hmm. as a business. Mm -hmm. If I open my laptop, that means I'm knocking on, now I'm at work. Yeah. You know, and the mentality changed. If, if I go outside, I have to look at people's problems. Mm -hmm. Instead of worrying about what they're going through, I was now thinking about the solution I can bring. If you go to home affairs now, the queue is long. Mm -hmm. But everyone will be talking about, these people are not doing their work, that's why the queue is long. But there are very pe few people are, that are thinking of innovative ways to solve the problem. If, if, if these people don't want to work, then replace them with something that will work. Simple. Mm. So even in my trading journey, I started realizing that if I'm trading, for example, during the day, mm -hmm. in the morning, mm -hmm. it's London open, mm -hmm. I have to figure out why am I there, first of all. Mm. You understand? Do I have other things that I need to do during the day or at night? Or am I completely going to say during the day I don't trade? Mm. I'll trade at night and I'll trade maybe Asian session, depending mm. on where I will be in the world. But obviously by that time, I'm in South Africa. Yeah. There's no money to go outside. Mm. So I would now say, okay, I'm going to set goals, discipline myself, rules, tasks, write them down. If you write the vision down, it will definitely work. Because mm. that piece of paper will always remind you what you left off. Mm. You know, so I would write things in the morning. This is what I have to do. This is what I, you know, small things like taking out garbage. I write it down. Yeah. Take, take out garbage 11 o'clock, back test for three hours, two hours. Mm. Look at the market, do market analysis, maybe first 10 minutes of the day. So my day is worked out, right? So I've invested in a day before it even manifests. Mm. So the day before, I already know. I don't like waking up like an accident. You're waking up in the morning and you're like, what are we eating for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> or what is it that I'm going to do? Yeah. So I started now journaling everything about my life because I believe that each and every individual, you are a mystery on your own, you know? So it's better to write your own story, mm. 
write it on your own story so that if you have a plan i wrote it down i have to do one two three then you know that if i didn't take out the garbage at 11 o'clock as i wrote it down then i violated my own rules yeah and you know what you need to do punish yourself yeah punish yourself it works i'm yeah. telling you punish yourself mm. people are having too much freedom that's why they can't the, get the edge when it comes to the market sure. if you're having too much freedom about your own individual life it's going to be difficult to mm. deal with this thing mm. because this thing is needs a lot of discipline yeah you don't need to be smart to do this i'm telling you, you don't need to <laughs> think about it <laughs> if you take a guess now and say i'm just going to buy i'm going to buy nasdaq yeah you know it can work out. I just have a feeling. I'm, I'm just buying. Yeah, I, it's, yeah. it's, it's my feeling. I had a dream about it. I'm just buying. It can work out. Mm. So it's not really about knowing where the market is going or, or that. It's mm. just a matter of having your own set of rules. Mm. If the market is doing this, I'm not getting into the game. Mm. If there's nothing to gain, don't you dare try to get into the game. Why, what are you doing there if there's nothing to gain out of it? You know? So just set targets, set rules about your own self. And if, if it's not working out, try to work out you know, another routine. A routine is very important, my good sir. I don't want to lie. Mm. Whether you're having nine to five mm. or you're just a hustler, you're just somebody on the street, just have a routine. Know what you're going to do at the particular time. time. Time is very important for me. So I respect time so much. Mm. And that's why I respect this market because it's timely as well. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so the minute you respect time, you're definitely going to respect the charts. Sure. Yeah, when you get there, you're like, okay, I, I know what you can do. You've made me have sleepless nights. You've made me break some laptops. You've made me kick my dog. <laughs> so there's no way I'm going to approach you yeah. like I'm approaching I don't know what, you know. Yeah, so yeah. I'm going to give you the respect. You are a market, you are my business. I'm going to respect you, and I'm going to apply the rules so that I can respect myself. Mm. That way, even when you take a loss, you will know that I took a loss, but every time I take a loss, this is how I behave. Mm. There are some people, when they take a loss, they close their laptop, they go. <laughs> you know what there are some yeah. people, when they take a loss, they smoke horribly. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. There are some people when they those who have fast cars when they, when they take a loss they drive mm. you know they go mm. somewhere and do something. So it's, it's it's all about what you do as an individual. Mm. So I knew that when I take a loss this, there are some people they laugh about it. But I knew that I, I cannot afford to laugh about it. How can I laugh about a business that is not doing well? You understand what I mean? Yeah. So for me and that is that that is just for me. You know, people you now I believe that opinions are, are like belly buttons. Okay. Everyone has their own. Oh yeah. So your opinion is your opinion. Yeah. For me, I can't laugh about my loss. That's money that I could have paid school fees for my child. So why can I be laughing about it? Mm. Just need to figure out why 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 am I wrong? And how can I avoid this in the next stage? Mm. You know. So everyone they've got their own just channel your life. It's easy. I'm yeah. telling you, just channel your life. Yeah. What time do you go to bed? Mm. What time do you wake up? What do you eat? Um, think about it. If you have chips, like fries, yeah, and love brown, and coke, you understand that recipe yeah. on its own. Nah, nah, I see it. I see it. You, you see where I'm going, nah, right? I, I see where you're going. Then after that, you have to face the market. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Some of us are not channeled the same. You mm. fall asleep. Mm. So, so if you know that certain type of food makes you sleep. Avoid eating it during working hours. Mm. You understand? If you know that you have a negative friend, every time he comes into your room, maybe if you are trading in your room, every time they come in, they want you to do other things. Then don't tell them your trading times so that you avoid being disturbed by them. Mm. It's just small hacks mm. that make people successful. Yeah, no, that's yeah. so true. Powerful stuff. Yeah, small yeah. hacks. You've already touched on some very powerful stuff. Yeah. You know, you, you've said trading edge at least a couple of times so far, you know, and I was, so it was something I was actually planning on talking about it with you. Uh, you know, I feel like there's been such a change in the whole trading um, the way the way people trade uh, is trading is is trading edge still a thing nowadays? 
when you look at like the way the current industry is right now because i feel like it's something that's not respected anymore like people aren't aspiring to to have like that trading age of like yo i need to have this trading age of trading a certain way or whatnot uh but what what do you think about that what yeah, that's a very powerful question and i'm just thinking of many ways to answer it <laughs> um think about it the minute you tell your family members in a funeral in a whatever gathering i'm a trader what's the first thing that comes in their mind sports car mm. hubbly mm. nice life yeah soft life soft life yeah. you know and you would be embarrassed at times when they compare you with such kind of a life if you know what you want to you know the image that you want to show people out there if you would notice in our office we have a certain way of doing things that might be different from other people for us we want this as bad as like i don't know what we want we want to be innovative as much as we can mm. and i'm just tired of people complaining but they don't have solutions mm. how do we and i like our conversation you know, like yeah. this you know we just we were asking me you know, such a powerful question that how do you maintain all of this? Where does the money come from? <laughs> and I started realizing, okay, so this man has, you know, a business mindset to say, obviously you can't just have such kind of offices and, you know, money's not coming in. Mm. For, for us, it's all about the image we're trying to give people out there. Okay. It starts with dress code. Mm. And that's okay if you want to dress in a certain way. That's, that's you. Mm. You know, for us, it's just that we have a, a certain target market. Yeah. And for us to catch that target market, we have to obviously look the part. Mm. What is it that they want and what is it they don't want? And we have to make sure that we provide that. Because I think we all service provider. Even when you are a trader on your own, like trading on your own, and you don't have a trading partner, you are not having mentorship and all that. I think you are a, pro, a service provider to yourself. Okay. Because that's between you and your broker. Yeah. You understand? The broker is providing a service for you to trade. How are you providing a service to yourself? You are providing a service to your business. Your skill on its own, just providing that service to your business. The minute you start making profits, it goes away into your, your business or your, you know, your, 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 your income. Mm. So that means your skill is now providing yeah you understand yeah. so that is you're providing a service so going back to your question how can we change this my good sir there are a lot of people that are looking up to many of us mm. uh, i don't think i don't know if i qualified to to say us <laughs> <laughs> but um we just try we just need to try not to arrive before we depart you know don't try to arrive before you depart. Try to know something. Mm -hmm. Try to struggle in something and master that thing. Mm. You understand? It took me so much years not to talk about trading to many people because I didn't want them to see me as a scammer. Mm. You understand? Because people think that traders are scammers. Mm. So people are not having enough. Edu we are not educating people enough. Okay. That's why I was using the word output. Mm. We are showing the life, mm. but we don't talk about the input. Mm. You understand? So if, if you can come to a space of saying, I as MJ, I want to be a role model to somebody. But in which way? Do you know that somebody can be inspired by your downfall? Yeah. Yeah. You come there and say, I, I failed. And someone say, I'm inspired. Mm. But how can you be inspired by a failure? Mm. Say so, no, this failure just showed me that there's, there's a way of not doing things. Yeah. So okay, so I know we had a conversation over the phone uh, while we were talking and arranging, and we spoke about coaching versus mentoring. Now, can we get into the difference between coaching versus mentoring? Because I know there's a lot of mentors out there. Yeah. Too many mentors out there. Everyone's a mentor out there. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. You yeah. place one trade, you 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 get it right, you can call yourself a mentor all of a sudden. I mm, mm. it's problems, no, but like yeah. Well, I, I genuinely just want to get into it because I think you're very focused on coaching. Yeah. Rather than mentoring, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because so we'll just get into that a little bit. So our business, hence the name Traders Connect, is yeah. not just about financial markets. Yeah. Traders, the way trading is not, it, it does not have everything to do with just trading the financial market. Mm. If you're selling tomatoes, you're a trader. I'm giving you one tomato, you're giving me money for an exchange. That's trading. You understand? So we, we also bring now the coaching aspect of things. Okay. It is the duty of a, of a mentee to tell a mentor where he's struggling. Mm. But when it comes to coaching, it is not the duty of, a, of, maybe if I can call it the mentee, to mm. say how they are struggling, where they are struggling. It is the duty of a coach mm. to see where you are struggling. So a mentor is more like a doctor. You know, when you go to a, a doctor, you go into his room and you're like, um, I'm here to consult. What's the first thing a doctor will ask you? What's wrong with you? I'm like, my dude, but you should be knowing because you're yeah. a doctor, right? <laughs> so doctors rely sometimes on your information in order to prescribe something. Mm. So they work on what you tell them. Mm. If you tell them I have a headache, they'll say, okay, when did it start? And they ask you questions. They'll be writing the very nice handwriting, as you know, yeah. right? Of which that's more like mentoring, you know? Mm. You say what is the problem, they prescribe based on what you say, but they will figure out mm. if maybe you, you got it wrong mm. and, and all that, and they will just prescribe something, right? Of which a coach, a coach just looks at you from a distance and he doesn't care how tired you are. He will push you. It is the duty of a coach to see what is making you not to be successful, mm. right? Sports people, Tiger Woods has a mentor and he has a coach. You're like, oh, but why does he have a mentor and a coach? So a coach will be coaching him within the field. But a mentor can be somebody that he looks up to. Mm -hmm. So I look up to this guy. Whenever I have problems, I just talk to him and I feel better. That's mm -hmm. my mentor. Of which a coach can call you at any given time and say, it's time for training. And that's what I normally do with the people that I'm coaching. If I know that you are free and I'm seeing you are online, I can just WhatsApp you that time. What are you doing? No, I'm just going through the charts. Are you busy? No, I'm not busy. Okay, let's do two hours of big testing. Yeah. And come with excuses, then I will remind you how much you're going to fail. That's the duty of a coach. Mm -hmm. I just need to push you. Yeah. People need to be pushed. We mm. cannot just, you know, some people, they have potential. Mm. So much potential. Mm. And they don't have people to push them. Mm. And I'm, 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 I'm stubborn like that. It's, I'm a very difficult person to work with. People that are here, um, they know uh, this guy when he says let's get it done. Yeah. If I'm saying let's do it now, mm. I'm not talking about tomorrow. Time is given now. Let's do it now. We finish yeah. now. Tomorrow we don't know. What if you don't wake up? Mm. So coaching has a lot with, you know, a coach pushing you to become the better version, to become the best version. You know, the coach must push you. Mm. I'm coaching you. I'm telling you what to do. And in the midst of telling you what to do, I'm also inspiring you. I'm also improving you. I'm also cheering you. I'm cheering you. You, are, you know, I'm like a chair to you. You know, I'm telling you, you can do better. You can do more. Of which a mentor can say, what is the problem? I think I'm struggling from risk management. Okay, this is how you do it. That's a mentor, right? Yeah. And that is just my opinion, remember. Mm -hmm. Of which a, a coach, by, 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 by people coming to me, sometimes they come and say, I will just ask them a question. Yeah. How can I help you? I will say, you know, I think the problem with me is that I have the fear of missing out. Mm. I say, okay, explain to me. The first sentence, I already know that the problem is not fear of missing out. Mm. The problem is discipline. Someone say, I have a problem of risk management. Yeah. And you ask him, what is risk management? Ah, it's me, I don't know how to calculate my, my, my lot size. Or I go heavy on trades and, you know, and that is just risk management. And a mentor will just say, okay, avoid doing one, two, three. But a coach will say, no, I want you to trade with me for a day so that I can figure out what's wrong with you. That's a coach. Mm. He'll have you trading with him for a day and will say, okay, this is what I, I, I picked up. And I'm saying this is what you need to do to become successful. Mm. But a mentor will say, try this. A coach will now come saying, do this. You have to do this. Yeah. Because when you are failing, you are also making me a failure. Mm. That's why in sports. But for another example, I'm using a terrible example. 
Why are they firing coaches? Yeah. Why not uh, uh, football players? Why not the players? But they're firing coaches. Can you see now the power a, ho a coach holds? That mm. even though he's not a team player, yeah. But whenever there's a failure, it's now pointed at him. Mm. You understand? Mm. Of which a mentor who said, "But I prescribed." <laughs> Mm. Did you did you try it? Mm. Oh, okay, then I'll prescribe another thing. How many times have you been to a doctor? They're always prescribing. Yeah. You know, when you say you have a headache to me now, you say, I have a headache, MJ, I don't know what's wrong with me. What's the first thing I'm going to say? Drink a lot of water. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's more like mentoring. Yeah. I'm just thinking of, of ways to help mm. you, you know. Mm. But a coach doesn't care. A coach must push you. Mm. A coach must tell you what to do. And... Every time somebody fails and they have a coach in their lives, it is the problem of the coach. Because the coach didn't do what he was supposed to do. If you have a problem of waking up in the morning, it is a duty of a coach to make you wake up. Yeah. If you don't want to wake up, then he must figure out a way to come to you and, and wake you up with a bucket full of ice. And that's a coach. Yeah. He needs to push you. Because that's how we are. You know, People are not the same. Yeah, Other so people true. are too... You know, soft. Yeah, yeah. Others yeah. they like taking time. Mm. So when when I'm a coach in the business, you know, sector, I I push people a lot. I push yeah. people a lot, and uh, because I know that their failure is also reflecting on my work. Mm. That is so true. So I have to make sure you pass. I have yeah. to make sure. You know. Yeah. That's why um, most traders within our firm, I always tell them, you need to get funding. And they ask how, and I say, okay, you're going to do one, two, three. If you do this, you're going to get it right. If you don't, then there's something wrong. Mm. Then we figure out what is wrong. Then yeah. we work on that thing. Yeah. You know, people are diagnosing themselves with a lot of things. <laughs> Just diagnosing yourself with a lot of things. I'm, yeah. I'm struggling from this. You know, there's nothing that is so painful than to have somebody that is thinking he's suffering from something that does not exist. <laughs> How painful it is. Yeah. Because, you know, the financial market is like a woman that you are always asking out and they don't give you attention. That's, that's what I, how I take this market. Okay. Just need to keep on trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you understand? Yeah, just keep, understand. you know, just need to keep on trying until they ask yeah. you for, they give you a date. Mm. Ah, just knock. Yeah. If, if my good say you are knocking at the door and it doesn't open, why are you still knocking? Don't knock, break it. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Break it. We need radical people, we need stubborn people. Uh -huh. I tell people that if you take out my head and you're putting there at the corner, I'll go fetch it. <laughs> and I'll put it back on and yeah. say, What were you trying to do? Yeah. The right. Just need to be stubborn. Yeah, yeah. Be yeah. stubborn. And be stubborn in what you believe in. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, just be stubborn. Just tell yourself, I'm going to be stubborn. Yeah. yeah and I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to be stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay so you've got Traders Connect right yeah. now. We are at your offices actually sure. right now. Um, Pretoria offices. Pre oh, Pretoria offices, yes. yes. We are at your Pretoria offices right now. But the thing is, you tend to see a lot of people walk through the doors. Um, a lot of traders walk through the doors, of course, of your business. But like, um, how does one eventually come to a thing of balancing between over trading and not trading enough? Like, how do you know that you're not trading enough? How do you know that you are over trading? Like, how does one find that balance? It's all about again your schedule. Okay. If you know that within my day. I have to be trading from this time until this time. Within those hours, if there's no setup, then don't trade. Mm. You know? Don't trade with emotions. And I know it's difficult for many people that could be watching this. MJ, you can't say that. Emotions are emotions, my brother. Yeah. You can't. <laughs> I know it's difficult. Yeah. I know that. But figure out one thing. And this is if there's no setup, mm according to your rules. Mm. And I'll call them divine, because I believe rules have to be divine, okay. right? If there's, a, if, if there's no setup that is going according to your divine rules, mm. and don't trade. Mm. That's how you can avoid over trading. Okay. Right? So don't trade feelings. Mm. Trade setups. Yeah. Don't trade problems. 
And what do I mean when I say trade problems? It's the 24th. Yeah. Rent is on the first. <laughs> yeah, I left in six days or seven days. You know what so what are you trading there? You are trading emotions. Yeah. You are trading the situation. So mm. don't trade the situation. Mm. If within, according to your divine rules, mm -hmm. if no setup for the whole week according to your rules, mm. then there's nothing wrong with you. There's a, something wrong with the, the sector. A farmer. You won't see a farmer forcing to plant when he knows that this is not a season for this thing. Yeah. And that's what we are doing. A farmer knows that this is not a season for oranges. Or this is not a season for this. So yeah. I, I'm not going to waste my time, you know, trying to plant at this time because I know that nothing will happen. Yeah. So just know that I need to see this in order to do this. Mm. If I don't see it, then I don't do anything. Mm. Mm. As easy as that. Yeah. If I don't see it, I don't do it. Yeah. So that, that's how you can avoid it. <laughs> rules. Rules. Nah, just follow rules. So, you oh, know, no. rules, 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 rules. Yeah. yeah. So how do you eventually get to a point of managing uncertainty and self-doubt uh, within, obviously, trading? Because obviously you'll find that uh, this, uh, this setups where you become uncertain about, but also there becomes like moments where you just doubt yourself. So how have you able to overcome those and be like, hey, look, I'm coming out on the other side of that? Okay, so everyone can have a doubt. I believe that we are all struggling from that as individuals, mm. not only traders, yeah. you know. Um, I think, again, if your rules are in front of you, then that means... You did not trade any emotions. Okay. You traded the setup. It all comes down to the rules. It just goes. You know, <laughs> I think you need to call me the rule guy. <laughs> I'm starting to see it now. Yeah, it's all about just, the rules. It's just all about rules. Yeah. Um, follow. Just follow your rules. Mm. You know, write them down so that you you can always remind yourself about them. Mm. Rules, 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 rules. That's it. You know, just rules. <laughs> if, 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 if this is what I need to do and it's, it's written down, yeah. let me just follow that thing. Yeah, you know? it's that simple. That, that's simple. There are yeah. people that are comfortable trading while they're smoking hardly in a club. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's how, maybe it's within their rule book. <laughs> you understand? But individually, I know what my rule book says. Yeah. And my rule book does not have to be the same as yours. Yeah, so true. Yeah, because... Um, um, you know, Elon Musk, by the way, um, he's South African, really. I'm just thinking about ESCOM, but that's another topic for another day. Um, I, think the, the, I think the guy can help us out with the issue of load shedding within the yeah, country. It's simple. He must just come back do his work and he can it'll be all done he can go after that he can come back fix this issue and leave it, and he that. leaves you know <laughs> but i don't know what's keeping him it's okay so um he, he says something you know that i don't want to say it, it it made me ask a lot of questions mm -hmm. he said warren buffett is doing a boring job okay yeah, because he's just an investor. Yeah. And he said, I can't do Warren Buffett's job. Yeah. For me, it will be boring. Because yeah. I want to create, I want to do this. And look, as much as he's respecting the field of, of Warren Buffett, but you need to understand that as, as much as Warren Buffett is an investor, he has certain rules. Mm. One of his rules is that he doesn't like investing in companies that has not yet failed before. Mm. Going back to rules. Yeah. If you don't follow the rules, then who are you? Rules, rules, rules. Yeah. Yeah. Even when you fail. Normally you take a trade, it hits your stop loss. Then you feel good. You know there's a way to feel good about a loss? Okay. Yeah, I'm about to break it down. <laughs> break it down for us. <laughs> you take a trade and you've ticked all the things. Mm. I, I normally call them like um, entry, you know, um, points. Okay. To say, okay, I have to wait for this, then tick. I have to wait for that, tick, 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 tick. And normally, if 80% of the things are there, then that means this trade is good for me to take, right? Mm. If you've ticked 80% of it, right, and it says all clear, the minute you lose it and you go back, you're like, okay, but it passed mm. my entry criteria, yeah. but it did not work out. Somewhere, somehow, I tend to find a good feeling. Eh? Okay. It's like, but as long as it went with what I saw, then yeah. I'm feeling good. Makes it a good trade. 
Yes, it, it was a good trade. Yeah. Unfortunately, it didn't pay out. It wasn't a winning trade, just a good trade. Exactly. You understand? Know <laughs> so it's like buying yeah. tomatoes. Yeah. And people don't buy, they'll be spoiled. Mm. But you, 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 you bought them on time, yeah. according to your rules. Yeah. You put them on display on time. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're putting some water on top of it, you know, just to make it fresh and look good. Mm. And unfortunately, people didn't come and buy. Mm. So whose problem is it? It's not your problem. Mm. The sector apparently did not support, sure. you know, what you put on yeah. that particular day. That's it. <laughs> That's it. So uh, there's nothing like, a, you know, a losing trade. It just didn't work out. Yeah. It just didn't work out. Yeah. Then you enter another one. Even if you have five winning, uh, losing streak, as long as you go to the rules and say, but my rule says one, two, three. Mm. There's nothing wrong with you. Mm. There's nothing wrong with you. Every business has that. Every business has that. It's COVID times now. Ask any business person, how is business? You, you already know the answer. Yeah. How is so. business during this time? <laughs> hey, stop. <Yeah>, COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. So can you say now that the problem is the person who's owning that business? No. The problem is the industry. What is happening at this particular moment? Mm. So sometimes the market as well can just do its own thing. Mm. But as long as you follow the, your rules, mm. your rules, by the way, mm. then you're good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's great. You know, I was going to ask you three keys to trading success, but I'm going to answer that for you. Rules, rules, <laughs> rules. Yeah, <laughs> rules, 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 rules. Yeah, if you don't have rules, then uh, you don't have an identity. Yeah, no, simple. That, that's true. Okay, yeah. so I want to ask you, um, okay, uh, what's the biggest loss you've ever taken on the charts? Yeah, look, and I think I've, I've, I've answered this question before with mm -hmm. um, um, other guys. Um, I had a British trade one time. Mm -hmm. And to be honest with you, I've never lost so much money in trading. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was around $30,000. That's, that's yeah. for me, that the, it, it was not a lot because okay. of the, the, the amount, you know, um, I had in my account. Yeah. But I was bothered not by the money. Okay. I was bothered with myself. Mm. You know what happened? It will come back. <laughs> Have you ever taken the trade and like, it will come back? No, and it never came it back. It never came back. <laughs> <laughs> and that was during, you know, that was during Brexit. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I just broke yeah. my rule. Mm. I just broke my rule. So it will come back. Mm. Go on a monthly, go on a weekly chart, go on for this thing, it will come back. Yeah. You wake up again. I was just looking at the swap. My God. You know, the swap was like, you know, you could find an account with the swap alone. Because that t t trade took like a whole month. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. And every time I'm looking, and believe you me, I was not bothered by the amount. Okay. I was just bothered with myself to say, look, I've wasted time saying yeah. it will come back. This thing doesn't want to come back. Sure. You go and look at fundamentals, though you are not a fundamental trader. <laughs> <laughs> Things are not going well. Yeah, that's true. And you start thinking, maybe I need to pray hard. Listen, I don't care how spiritual you are. This thing, it will want you, ne? Yeah. You pray, whatever. This thing, it will humble you. Yeah. you know? So you start asking God for questions. Why me? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah, that British trade is, is one thing that I've, it, it also brought so much breakthrough in my trading. Okay. Because every time I'm entering a trade, I'm like, hey, I had a month of, I had a horrible, I never want to go through that month again. Mm. Rules. Yeah. Apply the rules. And, yeah, so it, it was not much. Okay. It was not much. And so, you know, I've, I've never been in a space, a space to blow accounts. Okay. I don't want to lie. And yeah. I'm not saying this to say like I'm, I'm better or whatever. Mm. It's just that for me, it's, it's something that maybe I was raised with. Yeah. I had a tough dad and my dad was tough. So mm. ish, um, every time I wanted something, he would say to me, what do you want? Say, okay, can you give me 50 bucks at school? We're having this. He said, okay, I'm going to buy you uh, smoothies. You remember smoothies? Uh, the sweet. Uh, you know. Yeah, no. Um, I think oh, yeah, okay. the chance. <laughs> yeah, there was a packet and, and the, the other one was yeah. uh, oh, yes, smoothies yes, and samba, yes, you know, samba, nah. yeah, yeah, chocolate, nah. uh, yeah, you, you know. Remember. So every time I go to my dad, I'm, I'm, I need this because maybe we have a trip. I said, no, I'm not going to give you money. I'm going to give you um, smoothies, a packet of smoothies and samba. Go sell it, bring back my money, fund your own trip. <laughs> so I had a very tough dad, sure. you know. So at the back of my head, I'm always, you know, thinking yeah. that if I blow this, I'm always reminded that, mm. hey, remember, you're not... And my dad, when he gives you those smoothies, will say, my guy, I want my money back. 
I want my money back. So, <laughs> you, 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 uh, my dad was tough. Yeah. So, I, I don't know. What, whatever I do, I avoid disaster. Okay. I just avoid disaster. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a risk taker, mm -hmm. but I'm not ignorant. Okay. Um, I've mastered the, the, the skill or the difference between being ignorant and confident. Mm -hmm. You know, there are a lot of ignorant people out there. Yeah, but when you, what you see there is confidence. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if I'm making sense. You know, someone is, it takes up his system is like, I'm going to buy. You will see, they'll call me the master. Yeah. And people who don't know that are never humbled by the markets will say, I, the guy is confident. I wish I had this confidence. Yeah. And you find that it's ignorance speaking. Mm, so true. Ignorance because they've never been humbled. Mm. You understand? Mm. Can I tell you something? If I put the snake underneath your bed and I don't tell you, you know you sleep like a baby? <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. But the minute I tell you, <laughs> even when the snake is not there, you'll never want to sleep in that room. Yeah. So sometimes confidence and ignorance, that's where we get it wrong. Hmm. People are, some people are ignorant. Yeah. They've never been humble. It's That's why they're ignorant. It. So I think maybe with me, I've been ignorant with other businesses, okay. you know, that I've started, you know, before I became successful in trading. So maybe I've seen how much it took for me sometimes to overbuy the stock mm. to think that ah, I'm going to sell it in a week. Mm. Then you're having it for two months. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm always avoiding that. So I've, uh, blowing accounts has never been my thing. Mm -hmm. But it, it didn't make me good. Yeah, because I don't think... If you are not consistent, you are not consistent. A person who blown an account and a person who's never blown an account, but they're both not making money. For me, they're the same. Mm. They're the same. Yeah. Because uh, there's no success. We, we, we can't see success, mm. you know. So, yeah, um, I, I avoid disaster. Yeah. As a trader, I think, also as an individual, and I, I also want to, you know, during our interview, I think... I also want to touch because I believe there are people that are that are watching this mm -hmm. and they're not into trading. Yeah. Now, I think it will, it will be fair as well, you know, for them, if maybe they will call it an inspiration to also get sense of, um, you know, inspiration from what we are talking about. Yeah, that, so yeah it's, it's all about trading. But there are some people, maybe somebody wants to leave their job. Mm. Right. And they're like, hey, MJ did it. But he struggled. Mm. You don't know your journey because you don't know. Maybe I was fooling around most of the time. So maybe somebody's watching, they want to leave their job and they want to get into another venture. And maybe it's not trading. Um, and they can be inspired by this. But unfortunately, we live in a space where somebody can be watching this. Ah, this guy is lying. He's never worked in a bank. Yeah, this guy is just lying. Yeah. But you don't know that. You know, some things that you say, you're actually killing someone's future. Because mm. somebody maybe is taking this, that this guy left it a job to start something and mm. look at where he is right now and mm. maybe you with your negative comments you 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 can you know deprive that person's you know success by saying such kind of things mm. lately you've seen that celebrities are committing suicide and you know all these kind of things are happening to them because of everyone is just negative these days what's happening mm. you know so um let's just try by all means to do what we do best. Yeah. yeah so I, I've always known that I can do best on this market, but avoid blowing accounts, mm. avoid over leveraging, avoid this, avoid that, and yeah. you know, give it the respect it deserves. Yeah. Then you'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, before we close off, I want to ask about back testing because you've actually touched on back testing quite a bit. Yeah. So what are the, what are some of the key uh, like uh, principles that you take into account when you're back testing? Uh, like a, a pay or an indice or whatever. Okay, so I like big testing on weekends, especially okay. when the market is not moving. Okay. Despite the fact that sometimes I'm into crypto and it's moving during that time, yeah. so when I back test, I make sure that the market is not open. Okay. Right. Um, why? So that I don't get disturbed mm. while you're back testing. You're like, hey, EJ is moving. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I, I I'll do it on weekends mm -hmm. where it's quiet, mm -hmm. and I, I would give it time to say I'm going to do it maybe for two hours mm -hmm. and I will capitalize on the mistakes I would have made if it was a live market. Yeah. So I would go back maybe mm. for the whole month mm. and say, okay, let me see how this thing performed. Yeah. You know, cause I believe that the market changes. 
Yeah. What the market is doing today, it's not what it was doing maybe yesterday or maybe last year, right? So you need to go with the times. So when I, when I do backtesting, I have my own notes. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm writing a story. Mm. You know, I'm writing a story to say, this is what I saw. And, but why is this? You know, how can I also make my adjustments on rules, mm. right? And when I do back testing, normally I would switch off my phone. Mm. Yeah, because okay. I don't want this to happen. Yeah. I would, you know, just be maybe at the office because sometimes at home I cannot concentrate as much as I would love to, mm. like here. Mm. And sometimes I'll be on a fast, mm -hmm. right? Like I'll say, okay, I'm going to do back testing. I'm not going to eat anything until I finish my back testing. Yeah. Um, because sometimes I get affected by the, my intake. Mm. Yeah, um, people say I have energy, but believe you me, if I drink coke, it will be ten times worse. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm avoiding to be all over the place. You know? <laughs> so when I do back testing, yeah. I'm avoiding eating because mm. of my energy levels. By the way, when I was in high school, my business teacher asked uh, the the tuck shop not to sell me sugar um, before you know, his class, <laughs> because uh, uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about what I was doing in the class. I'll be all over yeah. the place. So yeah. when you're big testing, you need to concentrate. So I'm okay. avoiding sugar, things that gives me, you know, yeah. energy and all that. Yeah. I know, just write things down. Yeah. yeah, I just want to clarify to people. So when you're back testing, mm. you're going back on the chart. So for instance, you're going to open a Euro USD chart sure. and you're going back all yeah. the way back. And yes. then you just slowly come back forward, right? Is that yeah. correct? But when you're coming back forward, I think I want to ask for the sake of the people that what exactly are you looking for? Are you just looking at the market, what, what, or what are you, are you looking for setups in the past? What are you looking for? Good question. So when you are back testing, um, are you building? By the way, when you just go on your back 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 testing, maybe um, time. Are you building, if you're building a strategy, you're going to go as back as you, you would love to, mm -hmm. then build a strategy based on, okay, this is what I saw EURUSD is doing. Mm. And there's another way of back testing. So it that just is, depends. Okay. So there are many sectors within back testing. Yeah. You can also back test to say, am I still good? Is my strategy still intact? So I'm just checking if there are no funny things happening mm. or there's no change of behavior within EURUSD. Mm. So you are back testing that. And you can also back test to check how many setups you have missed during a particular month. Mm. To say, hey, but I've, when I, I, I did back testing for the month of April, let's say, for example, from the 1st until the 31st, for example. Mm. Yeah, like, oh, I'm, I'm, I've taken with my current journaling. Yeah. I've taken maybe six trades for the whole month on EURUSD. And when I go back, I see that we actually had like 50 or maybe less, you know, maybe 30. That means on average a day there was a setup. So when you're back testing, you're like, what was I doing mm. to miss this? And why did I take six? Mm. You understand? You're also looking at the risk to say during the particular time. So back testing is, is, is something big. You know, yeah. it's like it's like when you guys are doing your editing, normally forecast and just going back, you're like rolling and it's the same thing. Mm. So you just also have to look at the timing to say, okay, but this thing. Normally, at this particular time, I lose trades. Why? Hmm. You understand? So, you're just collecting data. So, yeah. you're just collecting data to build, mm -hmm. to maintain, mm -hmm. or to advance. Yeah, that's true. You understand? So, you're building, or you're maintaining, or you're advancing. So, building meaning to say you're building your own strategy. By the way, I've got two strategies that I use, that I build myself, based on how much I've back tested. So, I build it, mm. right? Maintaining, I'm going back to see if um, my, my strategy is still relevant. Mm. So I'm just maintaining. Yeah. Advancing is to say I'm going to add few things because I can see market structure is changing. So I'm going to add some few things to make up my strategy mm. and all that. And, 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 and if you want to be the best trader ever, backtesting is your friend. Yeah. Spend more time backtesting than trading. You understand? Yeah. Using board, I think when he had the fastest uh, you thing. You spent the hours training. But look at nine seconds. Yeah. You know, so it's the same. Yeah. Just need to spend more time going back. Because mm. if you are saying that, uh, we, we, let's say, we are, for example, 
you are using support and resistance. You know, there can't be a support without the previous, you know, uh, touch. Mm. So you don't know if it's support. If you've never touched there before, you can't say this is a support. So it has to touch it before. So it's history. Mm. You understand? So in order to go forward, you have to go backwards. Yeah. And that's one thing about really. You, ha you have to go back in order to go forward. Yeah. So you have to know what happened back then to know your future. You know, mm. so that's that's what I normally do when I do back testing, okay, and no disturbance that day, yeah, yeah, oh, beautifully put. Actually, yeah. it's very, <coughs> very, uh, let me put this like Im informative the way you've sure. really put it. Uh, sure. so last question, what has been your best? So, really, so a last one, yes, we, we've been at it. How long has it yeah. been? Like over an hour now, we've been, <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I talk a lot. I think I need to become a motivational speaker. Why? Or a politician. What? What <laughs> oh, okay. Um, um, what has been like your best or craziest trade like that you've had? Like when you look back, you're like, yeah, no, they, I know, things are happening. <laughs> you're about to get me excited. <laughs> um, for me, I think it will be a trade that I took when I was an amateur. Okay. A trade that was having a serious drawdown that was not making me sleep. Mm. Like, this thing is about to blow. You know, have yeah. you heard that? Yeah. This thing is about to blow um, when you're sleeping. And in the morning, you wake up and it's like a miracle to, to place during the sleep. From red to blue. Yeah. So it was a, a, a Euro USD trade. Mm -hmm. I think it was a long time ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will never forget that trade because yeah. it was like, yeah, I almost gave up if it wasn't for that. So I had a drawdown, mm -hmm. wake up in the morning, the trade is on blue, mm. right? And funny story, Yeah. I tried to close it. Okay. It doesn't close. Eh. Tried to close it, it doesn't close. Then I immediately I thought, I need to pray hard. I think there's something <laughs> happening with me, you know? Yeah. And I got so angry that I left it. Okay. That, uh, you know what, let it do what it has to do, man. Yeah. I don't care anymore. And I left it. And I was like, you know what, I'm just, this thing is a scam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with this yeah, thing. Now, yeah. I was losing. Now I'm excited. I'm closing a trade. It doesn't want to trade. Yeah. And believe you me. I left it for two days again, and the thing was just going my way. Is it? And funny enough, mm -hmm. I tried to close, it doesn't close yeah. again. And I woke up the next day, it doesn't close. So for like four days, I think the account went from, you know, if I, if I would look at it in percentage, yeah, yeah. then I was looking maybe to make 5% of my account, and I almost doubled um, that account okay. with glitches, technical yeah. issues. Yeah. So... I was really thankful for technical issues that day. <laughs> and by the time um, I checked it the next day, the yeah. trade is closed. Sure. And I didn't close it. Yeah. But when I look at the balance, I'm like, oh, yo, all the... I, I didn't plan this withdrawal. Yeah. Like I withdraw at the <laughs> same time. So that has been, a, yeah. you know, it, it was testing me, my, yeah. you know, character. Is, is what you do when people are not watching. Mm. Mm. That's your real character. Yeah, that's so you, true. You know? Yeah. Um, one of the reasons why I like talking, maybe, is because um, I was a shy person growing oh. up. Yeah, I was shy. <laughs> so now I have to make means yeah, you know, yeah. I can talk. So yeah. let me talk. So for me, that brought character to mm. say, um, MJ, you can, you can, you can do this thing mm -hmm. and find out why that trade was not closing. Yeah, yeah. And but now I had to think deep that you imagine if it was not going my way, yeah. and I tried to close it as yeah. it close. You know, so for me, that has been like one trade that I will, I will, I will always appreciate because yeah. I think I was able to pay rental <laughs> with that trade yeah. alone. You know? So for yeah. now, I don't have things that excite me okay. because it's a business. Yeah. Well put, actually. Yeah, now it does, yeah. doesn't excite me. You make money, I won't go like crazy. I made it, you know. Yeah. I, I mean, it's money coming in. Yeah. And as much as it come, comes in, it can go out. Yeah, uh, remember, true. ignorance. Yeah. I'm not ignorant now. I know <laughs> that you can... You, you, yeah. you, sometimes excitement is mm. dangerous. Mm. You know, don't be too excited then, at the end of the day. 
you you are going to regret. I'm not saying don't celebrate. Yeah, celebration yeah. is important, but okay. understand the dynamics of celebrations. Mm. Know when to celebrate. Yeah. Don't celebrate too soon. Mm. Life has taught us that. <laughs> COVID has taught us that. It's so true. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you so much. I had this was such a good conversation right sure. now. I really enjoyed yeah. this conversation right sure. here. And um, yo, I learned so much. Uh, you, you dropped so many nuggets right there. Um, that, um, yeah, no, I have taken in so much uh, from what you said. Um, so, yeah, anyway, no, thank you so much, MJ, yeah. from Traders Connect. I yeah. uh, will leave your details in the description below and also on the screen where people can find you yeah. in Pretoria, Waterfall, and yeah. I'm wishing you all this, uh, the best with your business as well. Thank and you. Thank you so much for inviting us to yeah. this side of town. <laughs> yeah, no, thank you. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the country. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, um, just before we finish, uh, you mentioned waterfall you mentioned pretoria yeah. the vision is to be in every city yeah um yeah we want to have traders connect every city mm -hmm. uh, because we are like the internet cafe of trade yes yes just yes. wake up in the morning and think okay i'm going to to the floor i'm going to trade yeah so we can accommodate also kasi mm -hmm. locations yeah. we want to have floors in the locations yeah, yeah. not everyone has to go to town yeah have a floor a big trading floor a kasi mm -hmm. Yeah, where we'll have bunny chows during lunch and we are trading. Yeah. You know, we don't have to make it as if this is just a corporate business. No. Yeah. Locations, villages, that's where we can empower people. Mm, so and I, this is the vision. I want Traders Connect to be there. And God willing, maybe it can turn into a non-profit organization one yeah. day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we just go out there and you know, try to give people knowledge and we see how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have any trading advice that you want to give to people? Easy. Mm -hmm. I think you already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> rules, 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 rules. rules. <laughs> Just get a book, yeah. write down your rules, mm -hmm. and punish yourself the minute you don't go, you yeah. go against your rules. Yeah. Get the punishment. Yeah. You'll be okay. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Gugliet Tambani from Top Traders South Africa. Uh, thank you guys so much for... <laughs> <laughs> I'm repeating myself. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Mobile from Top Trader South Africa. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're done. <laughs> no, that was thank cute. you. Thank that you, guys. Really um, cool.